of Killian Murphy here. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Very good. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. It's our, our first day back, oh. so it's kind of a weird day coming back to radio. But we've had we've had lovely Graham Norton in earlier yeah. on, yeah. and when we said that we had you in, he was like, "Oh, you're going to love this guy." Oh, that's very nice. So, so we feel like we, we're easing back into it today with two great guests. Oh, nice. Um, how are you? What's been going on? How's your morning? Well, yeah, for, this is the first sort of uh, bit of work. So just here to chat about Peaky Blinders. Yeah, yeah. because Peaky Blinders is one of those shows that is so loved. Tina Dahili, who is sat to your left there, uh-huh. um, exclaimed earlier on in the Radio and Breakfast show that this is one of her favourite shows on the BBC of all time. It is. I'm not just saying that because you're sitting next to me. It's she said brilliant. it before I heard it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice to hear. But I mean, this is a really loved show, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of strange, like, given that four years ago didn't really exist and it's kind of become this sort of phenomenon and uh, like we didn't expect it Uh you know Um, but that's the way with television nowadays it can really build up a head of steam and I think with with Peaky it kind of happened in the right way it sort of was by word of mouth and very very gradually yeah kind of people began to sort of get into it and that's the right way I think definitely rather than it being like this mass marketing thing exactly, and you're like oh yeah. I should watch it yeah. and it's so true that because I sort of heard about it through other people seeing it yeah and I thought when I heard the title like people were like oh have you watched Peaky Blinders I was like no they're like oh you've got to watch it you've got to watch uh-huh. it so in my head Peaky Blinders I was like oh this will be like a fun comedy <laughs> Yeah, and then when you watch it, you're like, "Oh no, no. this is this is hardcore." Yeah, I mean, I, re- I remember reading it uh, or looking at the you know the cover. Of the screen, and that's that's a really absurd title. This how can this be possibly be good? But it, it's just such strong writing. And no, it's not a barrel of laughs. That's that's for sure. Um, but it's it's really great. And I think what what people like about it, it is that it's. It's pretty unique in British television. I mean, it's pretty unusual for, uh-huh. for for us over here. And people like that. And it's kind of quintessentially British. Yeah, it like reminds you of a great British drama, but it's like, it's much darker yeah. and scarier and like, yeah. it's a bit more real, isn't it? Yeah, and it's about like working class people, you yeah. know, and it's not about um, the aristocracy for a change. So I think people connected to that. Yeah. It's got a great soundtrack as well. Yeah. Like. Did you know straight away like when you started you were like oh this this is this is going to be good or nah. was it a real shocker? Nah, you never know. You never know. It's always a gamble and and the the more I do it the less I know, I think. Right. <laughs> the, less, <laughs> the less you can predict what's going to work and uh-huh. what's not going to work. Um but, but but all you can rely on really is is good writing and it was seriously good good writing. Yeah. And how is Tommy to play because it must be I think if I was going to act I'd want to play a character like Tommy. Uh, it's a it's a gift, you know. It's a real gift. I mean, he's quite he's he's everything that I <laughs> that I'm not, you know. Uh he's quite kind of determined and strong and resourceful and dynamic and brave. So and you're take the opposites of both of those. He's like cowardly really? <laughs> and <laughs> oh, rubbish coward. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's a good old character to play. Yeah. What does concern me when I watch it though is the amount of smoking that's going on. Yeah. Now do you smoke in real life? No. No. So how is this as an actor to smoke? Because he, he loves to smoke a cigarette. He loves his fags, yeah. Um, it, it, it's, well, they're these herbal f- cigarettes, you know? So they're, they're, um, they're, they're not poten- potentially bad for you. Right. Potentially. They're, they're full of, like, rose petals and um, things like that. Oh, wow. That's what they say. And how many of them a day are you having when you're acting? Yeah. Or how many are serious? I don't know. I, I asked the prop guys <laughs> to kind of calculate roughly and they said around 3,000 or something like that. But, but, wow. but bear in wow. mind that I don't... An hour. <laughs> I don't finish them all. I, you know, some of them I stu- stub out. Wow. But it's the co- you know it's the continuity so you'd have to, you know, you know it's yeah. really boring but if you're smoking in one scene then they, and then you start again, you have to start again. From a different angle. You're right, yeah, yeah. So it just it just compounds the amount of. It's fact. a lot going on. Yeah. I always think when I watch it as well. When I was watching like the, there's a thing on iPlay right now where you can go and have a recap. So if you've not got into Peaky Blinders yet, uh, series three starts on on Thursday on BBC Two, or maybe you've watched it and you're like, oh, what did happen then? Um, there's like a recap online on uh-huh. iPlayer, and I watched it last night. And when I finished watching it, I always feel like I can like. I'm like a bit of an art man and I can like really handle myself. Yeah. Do you feel like that when you're filming it? Are you like, yeah, I'm, I'm like Tommy? Um, you, well, you, tr- you try and convince yourself that you are. I mean, clearly I'm not, but like you, 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 you know, you try and convince yourself. We've got very good stunt guys um, to make us look hard and they light it in such a way that you look a bit tough. But, um, you know, these guys were, I mean, if you think about it, 
you know, they they were just spat out of the first world war, you know, and mm-hmm. they had seen stuff that we couldn't even imagine, and they were so like violence for them as a form of expression, and 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 in that that society at that time, it was just commonplace, uh, you know what I mean? And so these men were all, very, very, you know, very devastated after coming back from from this yeah. war and carrying around these these memories and dealing with it in different ways. Yeah. So it was a kind of a reality, and it's going to be back. On Thursday, 9 o'clock on BBC Two. Um, we're going to play a little bit of Coldplay, and then we've got lots to ask you, and lots of people on the text as well on 8119 wanting to say hello to you. So we'll chat more after this. Killian Murphy is here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And you're probably not going to like this, but there are an insane amount of declarations of love and oh. excitement about you being here, which I'm going to read out. Okay. And you're going to react to. <laughs> but you don't have to. Um, morning, Nick. Uh, also, uh, just want to say hello to Killian and let him know how brilliant his brummy accent is. Uh, that is from Karen in Sussex, who lived near Birmingham for six years and could never perfect it. How was it to learn? Well, yeah, I mean, I still, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not saying that it's perfect by any means. And, you know, uh, the, 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 the people of Birmingham have been very sweet. <laughs> um, we, yeah, well, I, I, Steve Knight, who, who, who created the show and who's the writer of the show, when we started, uh, he took me up to, to Birmingham and he brought me to, um, this pub called The Garrison, which is the sort of uh, pub that the pub in the, in this show is based on and we went there with his mates and just sat there for the day drink a Guinness and like um, chatting in a brummy accent or me recording the lads chatting in a brummy right. accent and then I'd, I'd go home and then I'd, rec- I'd call him up on, on the phone and leave messages in my really um, appalling brummy accent at the beginning and see what, you know, what he thought but you know it, it's, um, I think um, people seem to have accepted it you know our attempts. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people saying it is good on the text. Oh, morning. that's good. To hear. I just, I just thought then for a second, you and uh, actors, right? Yeah, must be at some point in their lives walking around their house, pretending to be from somewhere else. Yeah, but it's, it's a funny day around the Killian Murphy's house, it, isn't it? Him yeah. just in the kitchen pretending to be from Birmingham. It has to be an empty house, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or else yeah, you find a quiet spot. <laughs> um, how did you find working with Tom Hardy in Series Two? Says Roxy in Stoke on Trent. Great. I mean, um, I've known Tom for a long time. We've worked together quite a bit over the years and, you know, everyone knows how great he is and um, I really admire his choices as an actor and he's, and he's great fun to work with. You know? mm-hmm. And he's, he's in this, uh, this series again. Oh, he's in this one yeah, as well? Yeah, And then this one begins, uh, Series 3 is on Thursday, 9 o'clock on BBC Two and the first episode is going to be like the longer-awaited wedding day. Yeah. I was going to say of you, but of Tommy. Yeah. Can you, can you tell us anything... About what happens on Thursday. Nothing that anyone's going to go crazy about in the text or Tina De Healy's no, no going to storm out the please. studio. <laughs> but is there any anything that we should be looking out for on Thursday? Well, he gets married. Okay, that's an exclusive, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's an exclusive, guys. He definitely gets married. Do people want to know what's going on in it all the time? Yeah, people do. I mean, it, it was a quite a good cliffhanger that Steve Knight wrote, you know. Um, and so I think people li- like that. Uh-huh. You know, but I'm very anti-spoiler. Yeah. You know. The, the clue is in the name, you know, it spoils it. Spoils. it? So, I, I, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, yeah, just tune just in on Thursday. Just Thursday, yeah. 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 Is there anything that you are loving at the moment that people have, have spoiled for you? Like, do you watch Game of Thrones or anything? Is there anything that you really love? I've been moving house lately, and so the telly's been in storage. I haven't watched any telly in ages. Me too. Well, I'm devastated. You, yeah. it's a, it's a de- I've, got, I've got to get a telly before Thursday, basically. Well, yeah, yeah you do, yeah. I really well, have to. Um, uh, so, so I, I'm really, really, I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Love no, tell me no idea what's going on in the world. Really? Love that. Um, and uh, let's see what else is in it. Leaky Blinders, someone's texted in. He's yeah. brilliant. Uh, I've watched it from the beginning and love every minute. Uh, and never want it to end, says Lucy and Folkestone. Just lots of declarations of love. And um, also Rachel has been on to say, uh, it's, I think it's the best show ever. Oh. Which is great. Um, uh, from Rachel in uh, Thomas Shelby. Um, a oh, world. Oh, then she's gone on about Leicester winning the Premier League, which is very exciting. <laughs> but also great news. Oh, great news, but nothing to do with Killian. Um, could you please get him to say hello to Rachel in his Tommy voice, and then they've wrote, "Please, please, 
and then that's Rin repeated in capitals. <laughs> oh God, I can't remember how. How does he talk again? It's a bit like there you, go. you do. All right, no, that's going Australian because it goes how brummy slash Australian it can happen. I prefer your version. Yeah, all right, right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's top. No, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, I'll tell you what. Watch it on Thursday, BBC Two, nine o'clock, and you get to hear Tommy for like a full hour. I suppose so. Yeah, you, will, you get yeah. to do it. And um, Killian, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Uh, 